The Ukrainian government says Russia has launched a wave of airstrikes aimed at the country's civilian infrastructure. Reports suggest most missiles have been intercepted by air defence systems, but some have hit locations in the region of Lutsk, Rivna, Kelmanetsky and Chersky. Five missiles fired at the capital, Kyiv, were shot down, according to an advisor to the president's office. Ukraine's energy distribution company said it would limit supply, electricity supply in several regions, including Kyiv, while power outages have been reported across the country. Let's get the latest with our correspondent in Kyiv, Hugo Bichega. Hugo, bring us up to date. Yes, Samantha, another morning of Russian attacks targeting the country's uh, electricity uh, grid. We're getting reports of attacks across uh, the country. Uh, in the central city of Shakazi, critical infrastructure was hit. The entire city is now without power. And uh, in the port city of Odessa, three people have been injured again after uh, infrastructure uh, was hit. Uh, villages across uh, the region of Odessa in the south of the country are now without power. And in the western city of Lutsk, away from the front lines. Uh, one person was injured after another energy facility was hit. And we're getting reports of blackouts across the country. Uh, this morning, uh, the energy distribution company said it would limit electricity supply to several regions of Ukraine, including here, the capital, Kyiv. And uh, this seems to be part of Russia's strategy here in Ukraine, to damage uh, the country's electricity infrastructure ahead of winter. Uh, officials here say more than a third of the country's uh, power stations have been hit in recent weeks uh, and uh, restrictions on uh, electricity consumption have been introduced across the country. As officials say, it is going to take time to repair the damage. And we had reaction uh, from uh, the head of the president's office, Andrei uh, Yermak, uh, to this latest wave of Russian attacks. Uh, he said Russia was fighting against civilian infrastructure and people and that Ukrainians are getting angrier by the day and that this means they will give an even stronger answer. And this is the feeling that I get, the reaction that I get when I talk to people here in Kyiv. Uh, there's no panic, there's no fear, but only anger that civilian sites, uh, civilian infrastructure have become the target. Okay, you go in Kyiv for now, thank you.